everybody, Mark, aka the Nerdy Punk, with you again today for a new video. Hope you all are having a fantastic weekend. Um, it is now Sunday afternoon, so weekend almost over, unfortunately. Uh, before we get started with today's video, quick moment of silence for my Illinois uh, Fighting Illini basketball team. We just got our butts handed to us by Houston in the NCAA tournament today. Uh, tough end to a really great season, but if any of you happen to be Houston fans, good luck in the next round. Uh, definitely rooting for Houston to go on because Illinois just didn't have it this year. Um, don't know what it is, but we never really played up to our full potential. Anyway, today what I have is I have a nice stack of titles here that I want to talk about that I purchased through mainly eBay, but a couple from Amazon. Uh, some really classic films that have kind of been blind spots for me in my collection and my moving wa my movie watching uh, throughout my life. And these are films that I largely have never seen before. There's a couple that I have seen, but these are ones I really wanted to have in my collection. So went ahead and ordered, like I said, most of these from eBay. First up here is the Godfather trilogy on Blu-ray. Um, the last video that I put up on my channel was last night when I went to go see the original Godfather in the movie theater. And that was a fantastic experience and I really loved the original. So I'm excited to watch part two and part three here. I got the uh, Vito Corleone Legacy Edition with Marlon Brando on the cover. There's several different releases of this. And in fact, they are releasing a 4K set on Tuesday which I am not planning on picking up at the moment. I've heard amazing things about the transfers, but the packaging, just like the packaging here, <laughs> is not fantastic. Um, I've heard the packaging on that set is very flimsy and kind of weak, and if I'm gonna spend 80 bucks on a set, I really want, you know, really good packaging. So my kind of game plan with that set is to wait until it drops like 60, 50 bucks or less, and then I may pick it up. But anyway, I was able to pick this one up for like 17 bucks. It really wasn't bad at all. And that's what it looks like. It is used. Most of these titles are used. Um, I'll go ahead and show you really quickly what this particular version of the Godfather trilogy comes with. So it obviously it comes with the movies here in just standard packaging. So you've got the plain blue discs. And then uh, you do get some special art cards with it. So you have the original poster art for the films and then on the back you have a portrait. So that's part one, part two, and then part three, which this is the original version of part three. This set I wanna say came out in 2018, I think. So it was a couple years before the CODA version of part three came out, which is one that I need to get because I want to watch both versions of the film. You get this kind of cardboard picture frame for one of the portraits if you want to put it in there like that. Um, I'm not really planning on doing that, but that is pretty cool if they added that in. And then you get this mini poster of the Corleone family tree. Don't study that too heavily if you don't want spoilers. All right, uh, next up, these two titles I wound up picking up from Amazon, and one of them actually came with a slipcover, which is pretty cool. I'm disappointed at the packaging of the other one. So let's start off with this one. This is 2001, A Space Odyssey uh, by Stanley Kubrick. I think I may have only seen one Kubrick movie in my past, so <laughs> he's definitely a director that many people consider to be the best of all time, and one that I is a definite blind spot in my history as a movie watcher. So I need to watch more Stanley Kubrick. That's one of my goals this year. Uh, I have a concerted effort to watch more Stanley Kubrick. And this one I'm incredibly disappointed at the way it arrived. I'm not shocked because this has been out for a few years. But this 4K release also comes in a really cool hardback um, case. And it comes with this and then it comes with some extras in there as well. I'm disappointed that I didn't get the hard version of this. I just got the standard 4K Blu-ray set there, but you have the discs. And one of these is actually stacked discs. So you have a three disc set here, tons of special features. And then the film, of course, on 4K and on Blu-ray. And then I also picked up a Clockwork Orange from Stanley Kubrick. This one came in the slip. This just came out last year on 4K. So I've never seen this one either. 
obviously a classic. It's got Malcolm McDowell in it. And I've heard some really kind of messed up stuff in this movie. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Next one, another classic that I have never seen and did not own, and that is Schindler's List. Um, very depressing movie from what I've heard, but definitely one of the best of all time, according to many people. This is from Steven Spielberg, uh, starring Liam Neeson and several other famous actors and actresses. This movie also has a 4K release, but um, I decided to get this Blu-ray release because it's a really cool digipack version. And this does come with a nice hardbound case. And then you have the digipack inside. And it comes with a cool little booklet. And then Blu-ray and DVD versions of the film. So definitely another blind spot, something that I need to watch. Another one of those movies that I... Desperately need to watch. <laughs> and then uh, next few I picked up are all Digibooks. And I kind of rediscovered my love for Digibooks last weekend. <laughs> and I wound up ordering several off of eBay. Uh, the first one here is All the President's Men. And if you're not like a hardcore Blu-ray Blu collector or if you've never like purchased a Digibook before, what makes something a Digibook is this, it's this hard book, hard cover, and then it always has pictures, and it has all kinds of information in a little booklet on the inside. And then you have the disc in here. And there's usually lots of cool info in these. I have a couple of them that I picked up from back in the day. Like, my, I have one for the Shawshank Redemption, and that's one of the first Blu-rays I ever bought back in like 2014, 2015, something along those lines. Um, but like, just for this one, for all the President's Men, you have lots of information and you have a cool timeline of the Watergate scandal down below. So there's lots of really cool info in these particular releases. And they're just really nice. They look really nice on the shelf. Next one I picked up was The Green Mile. Another fantastic movie. This one I have seen. Uh, I own just the standard Blu-ray release of this. There was also a 4K release that just came out, but I couldn't turn down a digibook of this release. And this came in a lot that I got on eBay that had Schindler's List, this one, and then my last title that I'm going to go over was also a part of this lot. I think I got all three releases for like 20 bucks. It's a pretty good deal. And then you have some cool pictures and info about the movie, the cast and characters, etc. And then one more digi book. I picked up Goodfellas, which is my personal favorite mob movie. I know I just saw Godfather last night, but I still think I would favor Goodfellas over The Godfather. It's just a a different movie. It has a different tone, a different pace to it. Um, I love Martin Scorsese. There you have the Blu-ray disc, and then you have some cool pictures, quotes from the movie, info on Martin Scorsese. You also get info about the, the director quite often in this. And there's a cool page about Robert De Niro, etc. So happy to have the um, uh, Blu-ray digibook as well of Goodfellas. All right, uh, so quick video there, but I just wanted to kind of update you guys on some titles, some classic movies that are finally entering into my collection, and I have some homework to do <laughs> with some classic movies that I definitely need to watch. Uh, go ahead and leave me in the comments down below. Out of these movies, what do you think is the best of these, and what do I need to watch immediately? <laughs> um, I hope you all have an incredible weekend, and I will see you later.